Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. We're answering the question, why TI inspires CX? This time we're going to look at an Algebra 2 activity, uh, circles, area, and circumference, modeling those equations with data. TI inspires CX, the handheld and software are now in color. You can see that. Why TI inspires CX? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator with a touchpad, and now it's in color. Students often have a difficult time understanding the area and circumference, circumference formulas for circles. TI Inspire CX students can verify these formulas for themselves. Watch. We will be simulating or emulating what the student would be doing with the software, but whatever I do here can be done with the handheld, just as you see pictured here. This is uh, an activity called circle, circle Area Circumference. Students would click on this, and they would be given the directions on what to do to the next page. So we're going to be asked to grab the endpoint of the radius of this circle. So we're going to go ahead and do that and grab this endpoint and pull it and watch what happens. As you can see, if I make it smaller and larger, it populates the table. It also populates the graph with ordered pairs. And you can see that this data is going to be linear. One way to model this data would be by guess and check. Students could click in here, and let's try maybe the line y equals x. It's graphed in green here. And then using the power of Inspire, you can grab the uh, graph itself. So if I grab this line, I can pull it and rotate it and try to approximate about what would uh, a, be a good equation for this. About 6.25x looks pretty good. And, of course, a student would, would finally, hopefully, somebody would come up with the fact that, really, it's not 6.25, it's really 2 pi. So we can go ahead and try 2 pi. And that would match that perfectly. A way to show that it matches perfectly would be go back to the, the spreadsheet here. And in here, type in equals F1 is where we had that equation of and I think we called that radius, so I'm not sure. So let me press the bar key, and it was radius, and press Enter. And you can see that these values here are perfect. These are not approximate values. These are perfect values. And that really sells the student on realizing. And they can see why it should be that. X is the radius. 2 pi r is the formula for, cir formula for circumference. So 2 pi x should match the data. It really reinforces that. On the next page, the student has the directions for uh, talking about, this time, the area. So we'll go to a similar picture. Again, go and grab this point and pull it. As we do this, the radius and the area are being plotted as ordered pairs and populating the table there to the left. This time, of course, we have a parabola. And so the student will say, well, let's try y equals x squared. And you can see that didn't fit very well. So again, I'll grab the graph and rotate it. And where is that equation? Let me pull that equation up there. So about 3.24x. But some of you say, oh, I know it's a lot better than that. It's not 3.24. It's more like 3.14. So let's go back up there and change that to pi. And the reason for it, of course, is pi r squared, pi x squared. And again, I could do that same exact thing. I'm not sure I really like that color. Maybe I'll change that color to something a little bit more blue, and that'll show up a little bit better. Now, to recap, let's just show how this activity accomplishes a lot more than just the formulas and modeling. Here we have the circumference in red. The circumference in red here. We have the radius in blue, blue, radius in blue, blue. But circumference is linear. It's linear. Area is surface covered, okay, and it's hot pink. And so we're trying to show the difference between area and circumference because kids have a hard time with that. But also we're reinforcing the formula for circumference and the formula for area. This is a very, very powerful way of, of bringing together geometry and algebra. 
um, you're talking about modeling, and the students are then sometimes pleasantly surprised that the formulas are what they are. This is the end of the video. Yeah.